Hey, what is going on? Today we're here to review the today we're taking a look at the Transformers Generations Earthrise Leader Class Double Dealer. Oh my God, am I super excited to review this guy? This guy. Oh my God. Okay. So before we get to take a look at the actual figure himself, we're gonna take a look at his packaging. Here is the packaging. You can see the full window. Here we go. Let's turn some lighting. Get the full packaging. The Earthrise World Cybertron Trilogy. Transformers, Hasbro, Aiden Up. Transformers Generations. And then get this nice artwork of the Art Crashing on Earth. A Shockwave. Side type RC. Double dealer himself. Mm -hmm. uh, Trailbreaker. Bomb will be there. Hound. Quintesson. Wheeljack. Optimus, Megatron, Unicron, Nemesis, Trinity of the Ark, and at the top, the Galvatron, the back to the obligatory product shot. Very nice. And on the side of the box, you get a nice, really solid picture of the double dealer here. Holy cow, that looks just wow. That looks well, we need some nice. Hold on. Right, sorry for that, my friend texted me. Um, but yeah, there's the packaging. And for some reason they consider him a Decepticon. He's, he's really neither. They should have considered him a mercenary. But, uh, who cares? Bring in Double Dealer. Oh my god. This is actually one of the biggest leader class uh, Transformers I've reviewed here. <coughs> so, do we have some size comparisons? Here he is with a, uh, a Legends Boy. As you can see, very tiny. Yeah. That's C Spring, by the way. Um, here he is. Oh, stretch for that one. Here he is with a D, uh, with a deluxe uh, boy. With that deluxe the uh, Ironworks. So, uh, So, uh, yeah, there's the Lux Boy, and he's even bigger than Megatron. Who's a Voyager Boy? And just for the, just cause, um, here's with, uh, uh hold on, here's, uh, ankle's messed up. Here's with, uh, Hello, Kaiser. There we go. <clears throat> That's a combiner I don't see people talk about too much. It was Lyle Kaiser. Um, I think it's a really great one. So articulation on the figure. Um, and actually we'll have to take a look at all the accessories individually, by the way. Right. Okay, How he looks just plain and default. But um, articulations guy, he's got a wall drain at the head, which is not bad. He's got he has arm rotation, full 360, arms move out that far and in that far, double jointed elbows, good transformation. Uh, he does have a waist rotation. Legs, you got that far. Didn't at all. 
lazy I'll also go back that far. And the legs have that movement, good transformation, and ankle pivot. Um, now there is a feature I want to shift in, and now we're going to take a look at some of the features with this guy. Um, <clears throat> hold on, one of the features in the is going to have a specific character. Sorry, I just need to go grab a cassette minion because this guy's actually compatible with the cassettes. Now, he's not really meant to go with the uh, laser beak here, but um, he's the, he, his cassettes are actually with the Spy Patrol. But uh, I don't have that, unfortunately, at least not yet. <laughs> yeah. um, but what you can do is you can't just pop his chest open, a little compartment there. And you can just put in laser beak or any of the cassette minions. And they'll just go in there. Just like that. There you go. And if you really want to. Or you can also get this look. If you want to. Or if you want to get really G1y. Flip out his tab. Flip and pull that down. And you're going to want to. Bring out this engine piece as that part actually comes off. Um, oh, where's we fell out? <laughs> Whoops. And you can put that on it, and you can just put the chest that into there. There you go. That looks uh, pretty cool, but it'll look better when you get knocked and scar. Which I do have coming soon. Put that in. There we go. Spin this around, and those just. Alright, now take a look at his accessories. First of all, you get this uh, missile. Not bad. Not bad missile. This can come apart. This can become a shoulder cannon and this can become a normal gun. Plug in your shoulder cannon. Just gonna want to plug it in. Your little shoulders. Just gonna plug in. Just like so. Actually, before we do that, we'll, we'll come back to that, I promise. Um, his jetpack, or wing thing. <laughs> Get it, wing thing. Uh, this is a, just a plain old jetpack, and mine has a really issue, has a real issue with these popping off. No idea why. And it feels like they're on there pretty tight, but for some reason they pop off all the time. See, there are two little sl there are two little there are two little slots there. And then they're just gonna plug into the slot. You'll know when it's uh, attached in properly. There you go. And you're still gonna put the wings with the wings with the circular part at the bottom. There we go. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Next up is you get this little gun, which can be a handheld weapon if you really want so. But Instructions so you to put it on your shoulder just like that. There you go. And then rear dish that can plug in to his other shoulder. And then you get two of these missile things. I don't know what they're And instructions just tell you to plug them into the legs. There you go. Do the same on the other side. There you go. You want to grab that missile pod. I'm going to put that in his shoulder. There you go. Then you can grab his cannon. And that can just uh, plug in to him like that. Also, another thing you can do is you can actually flip this. So he's got an audible logo here. There's a little thing here. And you're just gonna flip it out just like this, just like that. Bring it down. Yeah, you can make him a Decepticon. That's so cool, in my opinion. 
or you can or you can do something like this one on about one decepticon or you can just make him entirely a decepticon so yeah but um for me i'm gonna have him with the autobot ones because the autobots don't have many big boys they have like four <laughs> and galaxy Optimus does not count So there you go. Alright, now transformation's kind of, kind of a pain. Especially the bird mode. But, as part of my job, my job is to show off all of the modes. And we will. He's actually a triple changer. He turns into a missile carrier and a falcon or an eagle or something along those lines. Um, so... The carrier, the missile carrier isn't the end of the world, but the bird is just, I don't feel like it's worth it, but as a reviewer, I know there are some people that are going to want the bird mode, I just really don't care about either, they just want the robot mode, um, but I have to do my duty and do it this, alright, so you're just going to remove all the accessories, easy peasy, just remove all of them. Just like this. And I don't know if you can combine and make a big weapon. Normally, leader classes do have like a feature like that or something. Something really wacky like that. And then the missile, you're just going to bring it and put it back together. And we'll see the rest of the accessories for later. Okay. We'll do the bird mode first. That's the big pain. Alright. So. Okay. You have to. You're gonna flip this like so. You're gonna flip his entire arms around. Just leave him like that for now, though. Bring out the wings. Just like so. And I guess you can extend them if you want. I don't know if that would make it harder or easier. Uh, then you wanna fold down this. Uh, whoops entire panel and it's going to reveal uh, his head. Oh, let me get another light. So you see, got his head there. Guys, head in there. You're just gonna wanna. Just gonna. Actually, you're gonna wanna. And then you're gonna bring the chest down. And then you're gonna wanna bring this entire section around. And then the head, you're just gonna get it to. Don't force it, but be careful because it's not aligned properly so it doesn't scratch the head. So I would really recommend. Be careful with this part. I pull out the head, and there you go. Now you got the bird head. Pull back down the panel. It tabs in. There you go. Now you're done with the panel. Now we're just going to come to here. Just going to bring that down, and then you're just going to bring this down, and that's actually going to kind of tab in. Not crazy enough. Then these, there are two little tabs there, and you're just going to want to tab. Under the man, you'll know when it's tabbed in. Go. Oh, and that's nice. There we go. There we go. Here. Uh, okay. I think this desk light is just gonna have to do. There we go. That's a bit of a better lighting. Whoops. Okay, there you go. Alright, 
So continue on with the transformation, you're just going to bring these around. Just open it up. There you go. You're going to see the ACVs. You're going to bring that down. There we go. There we go. So they have it in that position. Now the legs. The legs are the most poorly designed legs ever. At least transformation wise. And this is why I hate transforming into bird mode. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring this, bring those down, spin these around, and those are just going to tab in. There you go. Then what you're gonna do is you wanna come to the legs and you're gonna wanna get rid of like this. Get that up, bring that entire section up, and then you're just gonna wanna there we go. And you're just gonna wanna push down on these until they go all the way around, which can be very frustrating due to how tight some of them are. Okay, that's just gonna have to do. <sighs> it's a lot of freaking pressure you're applying. There. So there you go. And then you're just gonna come down here, bring this up, bring that down. Oh, spin it around. And now it needs to be closer in. Frick you, has well. Eh, here we go. And it should. Correct. Be able to snap into there just like so. You want to bring this down and up, just gonna tab in. And the bird mode is finally done. Kind of, sort of, not yet. We still have to do one more thing. Just bring the camera down a little bit. Go on and grab this piece. There's a little notch here that's gonna tab in just like that. It's a really nice and secure missile. And in this, I don't really know what to do with this, so I just like to uh, port that into there. And then, there we go. And there we go, that's that. And then these missile pods, you go. Oh, these missile pot things, you can really do whatever you want with them. I, in my opinion, just like to put them right there. Just right there. Stores in there. Nice and well. There we go. Then you can add to the bottom of the bird. I just want to grab the guns. Oh, this one tabbed again. And you're just going to plug them into the fist. There you go. There we go. Um, there's the bird mode. It's it's not a bird. We all know this is literally just a weirdly shaped vehicle with wings and a bird head. I mean, at least the wings are in a nice, super duper soft ratchet. It's really soft. You can even see some of the ratchet there. The wings can also the wings can also just bend down, fold, you know, do all that types of stuff. The head can actually swivel, um, and the mouth can open. And it's got really evil demon-like black eyes. That's uh, insane. So um, yeah, 
It's basically it for the burn mode in a nutshell. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that for the uh, the burn mode. Actually, that was helping a lot. Okay. And, uh, transformation to air to missile carrier mode. Yay. I'm just going to attach the missile, just like so. Uh, easier said than done. And then that will stick out the jetpack for you if you put it on like how I, I did it. And then the missiles can stay on there if you really want them to. That's where the, well, that's where the instructions tell you to put them there anyway. Or at least for the air car for the missile carrier mode. Um, so yeah, same with the gun and the satellite. <sighs> okay. So first off, you're gonna want to bring this up. And, and remember, this is on a double hinge, so you're gonna want to make sure it folds up. So he's doing like a chin. Then you're just gonna want to move the arms out of the way so you get enough clearance. And we're gonna want to bring the head back to the normal position, fold that down, bring that around, fold in the wings, just fold them. Actually, you're gonna want to leave them like this, and then you're just gonna fold them back into place. Oh, I fold them in backwards. All right, there we go. Just like so. Okay, coming up to the front. Uh, all right, you're gonna want to make sure you pull these. I'm gonna want to extend the legs just like so, and there are two little tabs with uh, slots which are gonna go into the ball joint space, which normally the swivel space. There we go. There we go. Uh, Let's see what ends up doing. Oh, yeah, come on. You want to bring this, make sure that's straight. Spin this around. That's just gonna tab into the legs just like that. There you go. You want to bring this up, fold that in. Bring this around, and then, oh, bring in, bring in the bird legs on both sides, there you go. And you're actually just going to untab those from the arms, and those are going to collapse down. And tab in. There we go. And you're almost done. It's obviously not a missile carrier. Oh, wait, we'll use that one last. And then these missile pods, again, the instructions tell you to just put them on the sides. Uh, just like that. So it's uh, really solid. And you're going to want to do the same on the other side. There we go. The missile pods are there. Uh, gonna grab the gun. Just gonna plug it in onto that one. Just so it's got a little bit of defense. The radar dish. And you're gonna plug it into the other hand. Just like so. And this piece. Whoa. Whoa. Well, I just hit the camera. So this piece. Is just gonna go onto the back here. Ports. Uh, eh. There we go. Then you're just gonna. That is a problem that we're going to the, we'll go back to robot mode. Just gonna. Be careful. Here we go. Let's have it in. Then just fold those up to however you 
Raven, and now we are away. This is a missile carrier. Where's the missile? Well, it's right here. This is a massive missile, by the way. Um, so you want to grab this little area. There are two little ports. There goes this one and that one. And you're going to want to pour those in. And there you go. There is a missile carrier. Or the missile carrier mode. For Double Dealer. It's not that bad of a one. It seems a little bit excessive though. Like saying how, why does it need a radar dish if it's a um, missile? Maybe if it's like the track where it's going? Uh, I don't know. You think maybe they have that in like the missile or something. Um, but this has some nice play features with it. Um, so here you can just come down. You can actually bring those down. Just like so, and you're gonna wanna bring that down. And you're just gonna wanna bring that up. Hold on, just get it. And you can have the missile angling up with those bits to support it. Which is very cool, it's a really nice feature. Um, by the way, I don't have anything that's a. Uh, what does it, does it have anymore? Or do I? Hold, hold up. We have sound barrier close by. Yep, I have a. I have a sound barrier here. Let me just show the transform. It'll take like two seconds. Don't worry about it. And you can just get those and you can uh, just tab it in. Here, let me just. Uh, there you go. And now you can have that if you want. Which, and if that's, if that's the case, it's also compatible with Ironworks, Hoist, and from the instructions, he's actually connected with the Quintesson. So, most likely we'll put us on too. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but I'm bringing that down, putting those away. There we go. Boom, bam. That's basically for the missile carrier mode. So, I think it's about time we get back to the robo mode and finish off the review. This is a long review, by the way. I'm sorry. It's almost going to be 30 minutes. Um, so let's just try and finish it. First of all, first off, just remove all the guns and this platform thing. Oh, I just dropped the figure. Lit! I'm gonna just remove all the missiles. Why is laser beak still here? I gotta do, go do something after this video. Um, information, just to bring those around. Bring them down. Just like so. Just gonna bring this around and down. Oh yeah, we're gonna bring up the camera now because it's not a big mode anymore. So there we go. Spin around the hands and fold out the hands. Just like so. Yeah, bring up the chest. Fold it up. So, untap the legs, bring them down and around, then fold the feet, same on the other side, just like so. Then you have Double Dealer back in his robot mode, and if you want to, you definitely can. You can put on all of his accessories, that being the jetpack, the... Um, the missile, cannon, shoulder gun, and radar, and the two other little missile pod thingies. There you go. 
And there's the Leader Class Double Dealer from Earthrise. Do I recommend this figure? Absolutely. You can get it on Amazon, and it'll come a lot earlier than Big Bad Toy Store. So if you order yours from Big Bad Toy Store, I'm not calling any slack on them. You can order yours from Amazon for like $42 or something like that. And get him a little bit earlier. I got mine like a good three days ago. I'm, I just want to mess around with him a little bit, you know, get used to him. It's a really overall solid figure. It's not bad. I can re recommend this to every anybody, especially if you pick up the cassette uh, team. Because I know most people actually bought the cassettes for uh, Rumble slash Frenzy. Um, I know most people bought the cassettes for him. But if you buy those cassettes, it comes with Knock and Scar, which are his little buddies, his Power Masters. Which is why he has like the opening chest compartment and the engine core. Um, it can be used for them. So that also put a much more bang for them. Also give them a bigger bang for your buck. Because paying 20 dollars for four little guys is not the greatest deal. But if you have Knock and Scar... Um, and Rumble slash Frenzy. It just, uh, it makes the cassette pack worth it. And this. So if you have the cassette pack, I definitely recommend getting this guy 100%. That's a guy that you should, that you should definitely get. Because it'll make it more bang for your buck. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Leave a like, subscribe, comments. Let me know if you have Double Dealer. If you are found Double Dealer. Or if you order Double Dealer. Um, next review, I'm hoping it will be the Coneheads soon. But, uh, yeah, goodbye.